talent, I expect that. At this stage of the game, for people that audition for me, you know, you expect that everybody's going to have a certain level of talent. Yes, some don't, but that's a whole other issue. You know, what is that extra spark that people have that gets in the job? And it's, it's, it's more than just talent. God bless the person that comes in um, and makes me, instead of this, makes me sit forward in my chair. You know, piques my curiosity. And I think that's, um, uh, it's a smart actor, but it's also a, um, it's an actor that just is, is free to bring themselves to the role. Very common mistakes in terms of auditioning, there's lots of them. I mean, I think, you know, letting nerves get the best of you. Um, which leads to rushing of lines, which leads to you know screwing up of lines and apologizing. If you you know if you screw up in an audition, it's okay. You don't need to say oh I'm so sorry. You don't need to apologize to it. Stop. Say I'm going to start again. Great. You start again um, from the top. Other things that you know you know I think mistakes that you know um, people make is um, and this is an important one. They try to deliver what they think the table wants. And that is bad, you know. Be right, be wrong. It's fine, but come in with your own point of view. You can't second guess what we're looking for. If you're asked by the director to do something again, you can see actors, and a lot of times in their brain going, "Oh, I didn't do it well the first time," um, and therefore they take it as a negative. Completely the opposite. If a director or a casting director is working with you to do another take, another adjustment, it's because they've seen something in you. They want to make it work. Take the time. Listen to the adjustment. Take it in and, you know, work with what the director has just given you. Coming in and exiting is, is, is a completely different craft into itself and not a lot of actors pay attention to that. I don't understand why. If you come in and it's a tight-lipped panel, don't walk up and go, hello, how do you do, and extend a hand, because that's not the kind of type of panel. Take the moment to read the room. A lot of actors, when they're, when they're finished doing their whatever it is, whether it's a song, whether it's a dance, whether it's a their scene, they stand there with this kind of a, a look that sort of indicates, so how was I? You know, how was, they sort of, st and it's like, no, like, you've done your work, it's finished, say, well, thanks guys, and I always say, get the hell out of the room. Don't stand there and wait for us to give you feedback, you probably won't get it. Leave the room so quickly that if we do want you, we'll call the monitor, we'll call the assistant, we'll be like, oh my God, go and grab him or her. We need her back, we want to see something else. I think follow-ups um, for actors is very, very important. A lot of people don't do it, which, which surprises me. I love thank you notes. I think they're appropriate. It doesn't need to go on and on and on. It does not need to you know, be verbose, just a simple thank you. And also it's about being smart. Remind me which audition it is. I, I may have done four auditions in one week. And this is not just even follow up on an audition. It's, it's, let's say you've auditioned for me six months ago and you've done four shows. I love those postcards, which is your photograph. Stamp on the back, quick note telling me what you've been up to. Um, it keeps me in the loop. It keeps me um, knowing that you are a working actor. And it, and it makes you a valuable commodity to me. And, and how quick and easy is that? I don't need to open up an envelope. Um, I just read it, see it, and I get it.